they want a fighting chance. They need to be able to get this win in the second game of the series. Welcome back to the land of Dawn for game number two for Evo's Glory and Fnatic on it. Welcome to Mobile They just have to say that Edith Flex was just beautiful, right? Because it was Flex, it technically gave the opportunity to go for a great pick for either the Rogue, either double down like the Cho, we saw the Cho in the XP yesterday, mm -hmm. by Luke, also up against the Nolan, you want to try to lock him down, like Aldo said, but Emblems has get a quick glance. Well, it's all the lethal ignitions for the side of Fnatic Onyx, they have a lot of burst damage, and that extra bit sometimes will be enough to seal the deal. Keyboy though with the Quantum Charge wants to try and have some more maneuverability, and of course sustainability, when he's just moving around, going for these Small, small skirmishes. The big concern I have right here, especially for Onik, is the fact that they do have the Edith, but they can give the Primal Wrath into the hands of Clockwood on the Valentina. And that way, they'll get one more massive tool of DPS. And usually, when you're fighting against DPS, against a team with a Terizla, it's going to be difficult to try and contest the burst. Now with a Terizla and a carry, in theory, on paper, Evil shouldn't really lose out when it comes to a front-to-front -front clash. There's a lot of confidence, I believe, seeping out from Sans going in for the Purify against Fluffy's power pick. Oh, that's a lot of damage already placed Whoa. from Kyrie in the early game. Wait a minute. Fletcher out of bell! First blood! Waiting for the energy to be used up and then punishing. Whew. Out of nowhere, Annabelle reading out the maneuvers, reading out the movements. Just like that, small win. And in an assassin matchup, that could be deadly. Oh, mid lane though. Another shatter. And then onward, just used to gap close a little bit. Dreams though, still holding on to that win. Wow. It's a little similar to game number one, right? That counter aggression play coming through. And Evos were able to get the better out of that exchange. But the question is, what about the setup? Fluffy at level four already can utilize this penalty zone to get a little bit of a grasp on this neutral objective, but we'll see. Lots able to find a death as well, come on one, that's a penalty zone, it's lost, flickers into it, but Annabelle gets slain by Sans, who's still able to dish out some damage, Keyboy is the one who picks up the turtle. Clockwork stole the primal rack away, but look at Fluffy, who's isolated, Keyboy! Flick it forward, Earth Shatter to take him down, immobilize as well. Onto Dreams, and Keyboy wants to continue this chase get shooed away by Clock Kun. That was essentially a 2 for 0 trade made in by Fnatic Onyx as they were able to pick up the objective and that kill over. And that was the curious thing, right? With the fact that Fluffy was able to utilize it, but there was no follow-up with the penalty zone that he popped up in that final moment to cancel the Feather Airstrike. Arashi, what happened there? I think it's just unfortunate for Evos. In theory, right? The Teresa should be a direct counter to the Parsa, but now Keyboy getting jumped on. The fracture as well used up. Keyboy still trying to walk away. And Clockwood finds one last basic attack to finally take Keyboy down. As I was saying though, there's first damage available for sure. And usually when a Teresa gets onto you, there's not much you can do. But now Teresa, not not into the cable, the penalty zone defensively used up, but then Luke stomps on his head as he's unconscious. <laughs> Arashi, I'm sorry, my guy. I keep throwing it over to you, but every time you begin, you get interrupted. So please hey, continue. No, we will only accept the sorry from Fnatic on it. That's true. Yeah, they don't owe me an apology, man. Every single time <laughs> I start a chain of thought, it can never finish. But then again, this is the grand finals, and both these teams, again, when they do see an opportunity, they always want to play for this high tempo style. I think Evos have their eyes on Sans, though. We'll keep always skip this out. All right. Gonna be a slow situation for now yet again. Always seems to revolve around the neutral objectives. Especially with the assassins though, I expect that a lot more gangs, a lot more burst attempts on the side laners. Especially now that Brad is on the carry, he has the tenacity and the firmness, so he's a lot tankier than CW, who went for the master assassin. He wants to make sure that he has dominance in this lane that will allow all these other all these uh, high maneuver tools from Fnatic Onyx to be funneled somewhere else. Perhaps to Lutpi, for him to be then the main front line. They can just go for these defense welcomes, and if he lands on Annabelle, it's a done deal like we saw in the previous fight. Part of the Imo Bennett fracture as well. Keyboy not able to pop in the primal wrap, but Kyrie has rejoined the team fight. And Fluffy gets one kill. Annabelle still on the turtle, able to secure it. Backs away instantly. Meanwhile, Fluffy still trying to zone Sans. Annabelle looking for an angle. Gets in his box. going to be used up only towards the back. But Lippy, what happened to his HP bar? The Dino getting melted. Kyrie 
Looking for a trade back, goes on to Annabelle. Woo. But it's forced back. That's Luffy taken down. And the fact is, that's a trade back in. Ooh. Oh. Luffy continues this. Tyrese, gotta be careful, spaces out very, very well. And in the bottom lane, it seems Dreams has been shooed away. Feather air oh. the good sides. But Dreams gets up too with his own flicker. Look at Keyboy. Walking around, canceling that recall. Now trying to sandwich them. Conceal. Cancel their recalls. But it was all just a bait. Keyboy has delayed them. And he's, he might just delay it again. Primal Wrath thrown away. Keyboy still trying to find this angle. It's in the back. Goes into the penalty zone. Locks Keyboy down with a nerf shatter. Used up the Primal Wrath and a flicker out. But Anagonic have outplayed Emo's glory in this bottom lane. That's another miss out of pull. Fluffy back. One more shot to do it. And Keyboy is still melting clock good four members who are now forced to run away. Hi, Ray, and now, for the Empire Council, the Kai! Assassinates Brand, CW with a like and pounce, takes clock on. Oh, oh, no. the pace! Fanatic on it! It's all on them! The defending champions in minutes number six, they bare their teeth and they show the White Tigers what claws are really made of. A 3 4 0 trade. Meanwhile, Annabelle gonna be able to get a trade in for that tower in the top side. But despite everything, it's nowhere near as dominant as what Fnatic Onyx are showing to us as we take a look at the items. Uncle Fest CW going with the Wind Talker. Gonna go for more basic attacks for later on, but Grants, he recognizes the need for extra physical defense already with the Steel Liquid. But it doesn't matter if the fights kind of play out like this. Now with Onyx controlling, he is close for Keyboy. Only Earth Shatter connects on the two. Fluffy goes in for the penalty zone. That's a retreat from Annabelle. A retreat and a run. Dream's gonna be melted down. Fluffy's next on the chopping block. As Fnatic Onyx pop that conceal and go and chase. CW has a like in form. Kyrie goes in for the cutthroat and his sons who executes them. Fluffy and Dream's traded for the turtle. Fnatic Onyx wants to get more. The purple buff. What they set their sights on. Oh! Oh! Predicts the dash of Annabelle and CW. Goes in for the light and pounce. My goodness. Dominance, brilliance, intelligence, whatever the source given. Not really sure which one you would like to use here, but oh, what? Dreams? Okay. They don't find the kill. But that was a 3 4 0 trade again for Fnatic Onyx. And it's it's just it's, it's it's just such a shame for Annabelle because up until this point he's always been able to farm so much quicker. He was a level ahead at some point. Now Kyrie's caught up, but he had more of a say in these neutral objectives. But it really doesn't matter. He gets the objectives, but look at how Fnatic on a trade back. He was still hanging on to the gold advantage earlier, right before the whole sequence of events, even with the neutral objective. But just like that, keyboard man. Earlier, the, the threat to stop the recalls on the bottom side to buy time for Kyrie to come in and clean up. And even there, the prediction to think that Annabelle was going to try and make a play to secure his buff. This man is an absolute menace, and this just locks down Annabelle. Now, whenever he's trying to make a play, he's going to always be worrying about where's Keyboy? What's Keyboy doing? And that, will, that few seconds of hesitation can be deadly in a game of this magnitude. The mind games. The mind games and now the damage that Sans has built for himself. That burst damage that comes out before they even go in for these team fights. They have been detrimental now. He's holding three items, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, two. Now looking for the purple buff again. Another edge flank onto the back of Flicker as well. Clock could be like this. You know, he's forced to pop the primal wrath just to survive. Great play by Clocken, but in the end, that's still a defensive play. Despite all the aggressive tools Evos has, Fnatic Onyx are making sure that everything needs to be popped defensively. Clocken with the Athenas, though, will be able to walk up earlier. In the previous game, he ignored the magical defense, not really caring about Sans's damage. Now it's a different story with Keyboy on the Edith, the Primal Wrath. Basic attacks will be something that he has to contend with if he wants to be the main front line to buy some time for brands to be able to just shred someone down. Yeah, you, you can't underestimate Gila Sans. There's Gila in front of his name for a, a reason, right? And even Clocken is now feeling that pressure. The fact that he now has to find yet another ultimate, find and close that gap, that's, that's a big risk. 
because of that trigger with the IMU. And if that happens, that actually can be a loophole utilized by Fnatic Onyx to go in for that pickup before they go in for this neutral objective take. And by the way, Annabelle had a level lead above of Kyrie. Now it's completely swapped. Kyrie level 14, Annabelle level 13. Oh, the missiles catches on Fluffy. That's just welcome straight into the Feather Airstrike and the Earth Shadow. Fluffy cannot walk. He cannot do anything. A purify from CW is now going to be Kyrie who jumps in with a cutthroat. Lots of Annabelle who's still able to dash away, but Kyrie continues his onslaught of damage onto Clark who's forced to use the Primal Wrath to escape. One for one, XP for XP. Did I see? Kyrie cut through the Lord in the middle of that fight. It said that he moves in the direction of the Lord for ever so slightly in that fight instead of going for the big kills. Franz though, uh oh. But the airstrike this time, Sans doesn't have the flicker, so Franz can just walk out of it. Eight more seconds before that happened, but yes, in that fight, Ludwig here taking a page out of Geek Fam's book. We thought we thought the troll was what he was going to use in this fight against Annabelle on the Nolan, but no, he went with the Barats and he was able to get a big a big pick up there and being the main engage tool. He's a lot more impactful here compared to Fluffy, who in theory can do a lot of work with that healthy zone, showing again the potential of this Barats in the EXP lane. Yeah, you think that the Barat is more of a passive hero, right? You just want to tank up the damage, you just want to soak in the damage. And these pilots, they say otherwise. Another onward, and it baits out the flicker. The main initiation tool of Evil's Glory has just been baited out. Just like that, it's a slow game as Kyrie zooming around. Even in the macro department, for the most part, the waves are so easily controlled because this is the big benefit for the Fanny. There's a lot more mobility, whereas Annabelle, his benefit is the the faster damage output, the faster burst damage that can be followed up on cloud control. But right now, he has to wait for Dreams to try and do something, and Dreams can't really find a way to get to the squishy members that can be one-shot. Dreams will be looking for someone like Heroy, someone like Lutfi. So he's kind of locked in here. Annabelle not really having some targets and not really having any avenues to even go for a flank to try and find Sans or CW. Again, those missiles is able to bring Fluffy in. Penalty zone canceled out. Kyrie picks up the Lord. And Fnatic Onyx, they just use that conceal as a feint. And right now, Sans has picked up the Winter Truncheon as well. Even more safety, even more security for him. As we said, like earlier, there's going to be more damage output coming out from Evos, but with Keyboy on the on the Edith, it might just even out. If he goes for the Winter, I don't think there's any chance for Evos to really stand there and tank damage, waiting for it to actually expire. Looking at the rest of the items, though, Kyrie with the BOD, with the Malefic War, he even went with the Dreadnought Armor, just in case, right, for the potential 1v1 scenario. But with that kind of mobility, with how he's been playing it, if he doesn't feel like he can win the 1v1, he just walks away. No problem at all. As a mid laner, anyone with their right mind would go for Purify against Fluffy's... Fluffy's Terizla, right? But not Sans. And the fact that he didn't go for Purify, the fact that he went for Flicker instead, that early Winter Truncheon does make sense because most of the time he's using this Flicker as well to gain an advantage, to gain and close that gap when he pops in that Feather Airstrike. And if he goes in for something like the Purify, honestly, it takes away from his edge. It takes away from his aggression, so it really does make sense. But now, ladies and gentlemen, most of these turrets have fallen. As Kyrie already oh. trying to go for the bait. Oh, gets baited in by Prance, though, and will have to be punished. A very rare mistake. But it happened. It was looking so good for just a bit. But Brands there, even before the win of nature, was able to actually get that kill. That was unfortunate for Fnatic Onyx, but for the most part, they still have the control. And now they gotta be a bit, a bit more careful. This is where Evos is at their comfort zone. This late game discipline style, with Brands having a lot of damage, a lot of say. And I'm offended into the dance as well. Compelling zone into the back line, but it doesn't find Sans. His keyboard does the same thing in the back, but it's gonna be a pure fight from Brands. Primal Rock to escape. Look, he loses his life. CW with the Lycan Pound, able to get two immortalities, but now it's Clocker with a final rat, Sans! With a truncheon into the fracture has, doesn't have the flicker, he's gonna be slain by Clocker and Keyboy with the immortality, oh. Kyrie, no purple, but Lycan Pounds! But Calvin with Nata! And somehow, someway, they won that fight! They made it a 3 for 2 trade! They made it a 3 for 2 trade! CW gonna have the space, gonna be able to take this purple buff away from Annabelle and what looked like disaster for the defending champions has ultimately been turned around by CW, Mr. Constantly Winning.
and even by Kyrie just came out of nowhere when he was thought that he was out of the equation. Now he's going back at it again. That's a lot of damage from Brands though. Fortunately for Brands, he was actually able to stay alive in that fight, even though he and CW were kind of eyeing each other out at the end of it. Now with eight seconds to go, Evos has yet another chance to try and go for it. Can they do so though with a 6k gold deficit? Let's circle back on CW though, right? 4-0-5 so far on a Roger that notoriously is very reliant on the snowball, right? Would you consider Fnatic on the snowball? How far is the items looking for CW? CW at this point is at a full inventory slot if you consider the boot as well. Here's the Rose Gold even. So he can just go in aggressively, especially with the Roger, right? A lot tankier right now. Keyboy being the gatekeeper here. Is waiting for a chance, waiting for an opportunity. And this is the problem, especially for Evos. They can't really go and shut and deny and bring someone down immediately. The card control tools don't last that long. And at this point, Keyboy and Lutpi are just a bit too tanky. Look at that. You can see a play by Evos Glory. But Fnatic Onic know how to play this macro. They play it slow. It looks like Kyrie gonna utilize his high mobility on Fanny to be able to create a push in the top lane. Trying to force. Oh, wait a minute. Going on Earth Shatter. Not gonna fully commit Fluffy? on that. Fluffy might just be assassinated, losing to the HP bar. Down to a four. Death as well can get me committed. If he's still picking and choosing who he wants to go for. He doesn't decide to go for it, and the Feather s right gets used up to Evo's glory away from this mid lane. It's a big resource spent out. Fnaticonic, they definitely want to go for a reset here without the Feather Airstrike as well as Lutby's ultimate. And you can see that with Kyrie constantly pushing in the top lane, they have actually forced Annabelle to deal with it. So both teams have their reasons to go in for the reset. Surprising though, seeing that Fnatic was so far away from his teams that Fnaticonic with their DPS output won't go for something, but CW, fortunately, wasn't really spotted right there, so there won't be big play from Evos to secure him. On the other hand, look at Sans. Is he waiting for Annabelle to try and go for a purple buff? Gila Sans. What is he thinking here? It seems to be a possibility, but now he'll be backing away, going back to the Lord with the wave pushing on the top side. This is their chance. This is their moment. Once again, the patience games continue. Whereas for Fnatic Onic and Evos, they've both shown that they don't really panic and make a crazy move unnecessarily in these situations. Walker no purifying, Keyboy goes in for the on-ramp, the Earth Shadow, but look at Branson's damage. Was able to melt one down, Keyboy forced to use the Primal Wrath, loses Immortality, look P, has Immortality as well. Keyboy able to flip around and pops to conceal to disengage, but they leave P all alone, isolated, and Evo's glory capitalized. Now on the Lord they go, enhanced, 17 minutes in, Fnatic Onic don't want no business, not against this Evo's glory lineup in the 18th minute. That's a man advantage and that's a neutral objective completely given to Evos on a silver platter, Kyrie. Okay. okay, he gets out there. Okay, dude, we get it. We get it. <laughs> you're, you're good at, on assassins, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean we, don't, we don't talk about what happened in the top lane. What, what happened in the top lane? Nothing. Nothing well, for Evos right now, though, they are certainly trying to make something happen. Look at the bottom side. Kyrie is going for a push. CW adjusting his build to try and get a bit more DPS, a bit more clear. Against a full item carry, they seem to be struggling. But uh, by the way, I believe Kyrie once again cut through the Lord in that fight though. That's a massive, valuable chunk of damage. Well, Fnatic Onic, with the Lord coming in, they do have tools to clear, but they have to be careful, especially Sans, for a play from Evos to try and shut him down. Yeah. And no purple buff now. But remember, Sans just picked up the Holy Crystal, so that damage is flowing. Now with the Lord up top, oh! It's a good item offended, pulling Luffy back, but he has the flicker to escape. Keyboy now holding it down, Kyrie goes up the control, does some damage, GW forced back, and Rose Gold here, he gets popped in as Kyrie goes over the blade once again onto Prance, who's still able to survive. Now Sans, doing some damage back, oh, what happened to Gotham? He got the smallest, Kai in the back with the cables, once again, GW goes with the re-engage, he wants to go for the triple kill, and he gets it! Calvin Winata, again and again and again! Constantly winning! Winata, CW, what in the world? Time and time again, he is breaking Ooh. boundaries, he is breaking limits, and he is breaking bones of Evo's glory. Four members are down, Annabelle the only one up. There aren't necessarily minions for them to play with. 
But what a play from Fnatic Onyx. Like, CW, that's tough enough. But with Kyrie's damage with him as well, are they going to go for the end? I don't know. Dashing out. Oh, oh. What was that? An onward up angle. One minion. They utilized one minion. The side lanes weren't even pushed. They didn't even need it. Fanatic on it again and again and again. It's a 2 0. Now for the defending champion, the Sky Kings. Well, if this is your first.